Welcome back. Well, Lalu, you never told me that uh, your immediate past presidential <laughs> 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 spoke to us. And I was calling for my all the while. That I, I didn't know that he now meant you know. so. So uh, she said, immediate past presidential aid. <laughs> Thank you for coming on this one anyways. Good to see you. So, a lot is making the rounds about uh, uh, your immediate past colleague, mm. Femi Adishino, on his book. So, reading mm. through it, yes, of course, there are many questions. But I just, you know, going through that and uh, you being here too, I kept on thinking. So, of course, people see things from different perspectives. Yeah. And he's, this is his own perspective. And he said it was about the software mm. and not the hardware. Right. So, yeah. in terms of what his relationship but. At the same time, too, can we take this to the bank? Because, I mean, if people differ in terms of what you might have had with him will be definitely different from this one. Mm. Well, I mean, I, I think that uh, uh, you, you, we can take the, the witness, what, what I call the witness account of uh, Mr. Femi Adishino, we can take that to the bank. That is what he knows, uh, what, he, what he witnessed, what he experienced, you know, and the, the, the life that he lived, uh, working with uh, uh, President Buhari for eight years, you know, I, I don't think that you you'll be able to contradict the facts that it puts in the book. You know, uh, uh, what might be possible is just like you said, there may be other perspectives, uh, there may be other things that are not uh, in the story, uh, and I imagine that you know uh, nobody can claim that they know 100 percent of what it is that has happened. So to that extent, you know, I think, you know, I mean, Femi is, 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 is an outstanding journalist, you know, uh, editor-in-chief. So, so uh, as to the facts, I don't think you can uh, contradict what mm. you have said. Mm. Facts. Uh, interesting. <laughs> because sometimes you see some categorical statements and then you say, ah, uh, is this the same country I was in? But <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I know that, you know, when it comes to being a spokesperson, you, you have to have some conviction in the person or for the person from whom, for whom you speak. Mm. Um, how is that relationship usually? I mean, when, you're, when you decide or when you take up that appointment to be a spokesperson, mm. it, it, I, I kind of think I presume that you, you have the ability <laughs> to read the mind of, of, what, of what your principal wants to say and say it in the best words. Is that what usually happens? Well, so, so it, it depends on the, on the principal. Uh, so, so from the account of Femi, you can see very clearly that uh, even before uh, President Buhari became a civilian president, uh, Femi had always admired him, mm -hmm. you know, uh, all the way from 20, uh, even he said, even when he was uh, head of state. So, uh, and he did, you know, he went as far as saying that as for him, you know, uh, the, the, the Buhari thing is a conviction. You yeah, know? he said and people so. have interpreted that to me, oh, you know, is it next to your faith and stuff? So, so he has a very unique relationship even before the man became president, you know. Uh, so the way he will do his job is, might be different from somebody who doesn't have that kind of previous admiration or, you know, something that is close to a belief. Now, the other possibility is that you can have a principal who is also very hands-on, you know, uh, so that he, uh, the, 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 the spokesperson will be, you know, much closer in terms of thinking through. And then you can also have uh, uh, certain uh, principals who themselves, they are very media savvy, you know. So you don't really have uh, too much to, 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 to lead. You know, they lead and you, 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 you essentially follow. follow. <laughs> so, 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 I mean, look at President Buhari. I, I, I can count the number of times President Buhari had a, uh, a press interview, you mm -hmm. know, uh, while he was there. But there are, there are certain principals who, who will just go out okay. and, uh. and engage the press. Look at President Obasanjo, for instance. Yeah. You know, he had so, almost a weekly or a monthly interaction. You know, this has also been said time and again. The person of the former president, yeah. when he first assumed office, there was this expectation. Things, lots of people were just watching. Almost everyone was acting right in the first instance so that they don't get the hammer. But at the end of the day, we all saw how people changed eventually. Mm. And now speaking about his person, so anyone reading this may also think, wait a minute, does it mean that in spite of all the discipline, um, all the transparency that he's highlighted here, how loyal, he likes loyalty, so chances are that 
all of that may not necessarily translate to the results when you are in office. I mean, compared to what several people have seen. Mm. So people that get into office, it means, yeah, you, you may have all your qualities, but if you get in there, it is not assured that you have a good result. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, uh, what, what I have found, uh, especially in the last eight years, is that the, the, the personality of, uh, of, the, of the principal, especially whoever is number one, uh, has to be a certain uh, kind of personality, you know. But more than that, more than that is the, is the will and the capacity to, to deliver. Now, I will say very clearly, and I think I've said this before, I think uh, President Buhari between two, uh, uh, 2015 and 2019 had a, a, a better grip of things than between 2019 and 2023. You know, and I think he made some strategic decisions uh, which I don't agree with. You know, um, uh, but such as, well, I mean, such as the decision, for instance, uh, to, uh, to, to, to create this humongous ministry. Humanitarian affairs. Humanitarian affairs, where you now put social investment, you know, and, and when you are going to do that, you, you, you allowed, you know, a disconnection between the, the, the folks who had done an excellent job between 2016 and 2019. Is that the office of the OVP? Well, you know, there was a special advisor uh, in, in the presidency, you know, uh, deployed to the office of the vice president. And, and he had, she had a very fantastic team, won accolades all over, locally, nationally, internationally. And so you took it from them. You know, I think that was it. You know, and I've said it before. So, so when you see that kind of uh, thing, you, you, you wonder, uh, what, what was the problem? What, was it the, uh, the, the quality of advice? Did they not say why they took there? it away? Well, you know, I, I, I guess there was going to be a new ministry. So my, my, my point is that if, if you're going to do that, you, you, you don't have that kind of sharp disconnection because it was a sharp disconnection between the people who were handling it from 2016 to 2019. There was no, no handshake between it, those who were there before well, and know, the it, new people. It was very, you know, it was a very tense uh, situation. And, you know, uh, I, I think the president was trying to say that, look, I mean, I, I want this thing to be uh, institutionalized. Let's put it in the ministry, you know, and all of that made a lot of sense. What I find, uh, what I'm critical about, you know, is that you can't do that without having the, 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 the handshaking between the new people and the old people. When is and your that own has book, affected the problem up to now. When is your own book coming out? What, working, working with the vice president. <laughs> working with the Shibacha. When is it coming out? Well, Let me put you on the spot. <laughs> well, you know, but sometimes, uh, sometimes later, you know, uh, don't, don't let me make promises as to time now. But, but certainly, what has to write uh, the story of what has happened? And uh, like, I, like I said, you know, uh, in my view, uh, President Boyle is, is a very... Uh, uh, amiable person, in my mm -hmm. view. You know, you, you can't be in his presence and, and not laugh. What, what, what challenges do you think, or what do you think usually goes through the mind of spokespeople when they have to put down a book like this? I, I, I know that I don't know. I'm just guessing <laughs> that you might be writing one. Um, but when you think about writing, documenting your time in office, what are the, some of the immediate challenges that immediately come to you when you when you think about how your yeah. book might be received. Yeah, uh, you know, so, so I'm going to be very frank about that. Uh, many people don't want to write about their experiences because uh, people don't, I feel that a lot of people don't understand the, the importance of public interest. I think there has been an overplaying of the, uh, the self-interest. So, oh, we all belong to this group, you know, oh. don't go out and say anything. And, and people forget that we all came together for public interest. And so a lot of people don't want to come out and say oh. what their views are. <clears throat> you know, and that's where you see a lot of, uh, of uh, reluctance. You know, people would rather just uh, say it in muffled voices mm. rather than coming out. But I believe that if we're going to increase the democratic space, there must be more transparency, there must be more accountability, and things have to be spoken about in a very decent, objective way right. that advances public interest.
Thank you, Lalo Akonde, former presidential aide. And just before we wrap up, Dixon, we see your mail. We, are, we thank you. You say it's difficult to believe that explosion in Ibadan is that of dynamite with the level of spread of the destruction. It's more like shellings in Gaza, mm. and thorough investigation is needed to unravel the mystery behind the unfortunate blast. Indeed, trembling. I mean, look at uh, yeah. the visuals are quite telling. Yes, indeed. Well, well thank you all, uh, Tafik, George. Thank you very much indeed. So we'll see you next time. I am Chamberlain. It's all goodbye. Thank you for watching. I'm Maope Ogun Yusuf. And have a productive day. I'm Ayo Makinde. Bye for now.